Well, 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 welcome back to the channel, my friends. Now, a lot of you have been wondering where you've been hiding at these past few weeks, secret letters. Well, you never know when I'm gonna show up, drop a video, drop a tutorial. So make sure you subscribe to the channel because you don't wanna miss a second of any of this action and get left behind at the hacker's bus stop, cold, alone, wet, from the pouring rain because there's no umbrellas at the hackers bus stop as we sail off into the beautiful sunset singing hackers kumbaya anyways i'm getting off track with this video for centuries mankind has been struggling with this one question from google are you a robot well google it's the 21st century and that's a bit offensive because yes I am. Now, does that mean I'm gonna be denied access because you got your little capture box? So the question was raised, is it possible to automate a bot to fill out a web form and bypass the Google capture box? Well, after putting in 90 hours of code revision, trial and error, blood and sweat, sleepless nights crying to myself, contemplating the meaning of life, binge watching the Lord of the Rings for no good reason. I'm here to tell you, yes, you can. And I'm gonna try and break it down to you guys in under five minutes, because I know you wanna go about the rest of your life. So if you're new to the channel, grab something to eat, grab something to drink, grab a chair, and let's expose some secrets hacker style Ice camera action. all right guys let's first go over the code and then we'll go over the dependencies and extra things that you might need to have this up and running as you can see i had these test scripts here and came about the final script. So here it is. First thing we need is Puppeteer. And then the second thing we need is to capture. And I have commented out how you can get those dependencies. Here I have my API key. I'll go over that more in a minute. Here we have the Google site key for the capture box. Here is our target site is oldreddit.com. Here we have Google Chrome in slow-mo for 30 seconds. And what that means is I'm adding a 30 second time delay to mimic human behavior because without this, this code will run through in about one or two seconds and humans just don't type that fast. The Google Captcha box doesn't even load that quickly on the website, so we have to slow down this automation. So here we have the Google Captcha solver. We're gonna use Puppeteer to launch a new browser, and it's going to launch a new page. It's gonna to go to oldreddit.com login page, it's going to register our user as botman. I don't need a git password for this site, so I have that commented out. It's going to register our password. It's going to type in our password again, and then it's going to register our email address as botman at yahoo.com. It's going to send the response. Actually, it's going to send the site key and details over to two captcha wait the response. It's going to evaluate the G recapture response. I'll go over that in a minute. And then it's finally going to click the register button. It's going to catch any console errors. Hopefully there aren't any, and it will just seamlessly log us in. So let's first talk about two captcha. Here is my two captcha dashboard. You will need to register our account and it costs about three dollars to throw in um, you can do i think a thousand responses per dollar or something like that it's really cheap to use but what we're doing is we're sending the google captcha along with our api to two captcha and then sending the response back so here's reddit 
If I do F12, we'll go to the developer tab. Let's highlight, choose a username. As you can see, the ID is user underscore reg. So for that, we need to throw that in here. User underscore reg, we're registering Fatman. And then we grab the other parameters, password, verify password, etc. You can see the input ID is password reg. And it's gonna be the same for that. And same for email. The email is email underscore reg. And then the sign up, same. You can see the button type submit. We throw that all in here as well. So automating the web form is pretty simple and pretty standard throughout any website. You just need to grab its parameters. Now for the Google CAPTCHA, we need the site key. So if we hit control find and we just type in site key, you can see the G recaptcha site key is right here. We're gonna send this over to 2CAPTCHA and 2CAPTCHA is going to resolve it, send it back. So let's head back over to the code. You can see here, it's gonna evaluate it. It's going to click the register button. So let's go ahead and run this. As you can see, Puppeteer opens up, the browser opens up a new page, throws in the information, didn't like my username. Username is already taken. So let me, let me cancel out of this. Let me change my username to something else. How is Botman taken? What if I add a bunch of M's? Control S, save it. Run it again. Web page opens up. Fills in the information for me. So as you can see here, we're waiting the two CAPTCHA response. And as you can see here, this is where the console.log comes into play. And now it's going to grab it and send it back to us and hopefully log us into the website automatically without any user interaction. And as you can see, we successfully logged in as Botman automatically. Head on over to my Patreon page It'll be posted there for you guys to play with and have fun. And maybe I'll leave my API key in there. I have $2 left. I can do like another 3000 API requests. Um, we'll see if that if that's still in there or not. But if you're wondering what I'm gonna use this for, you know, why, why do we care? Head on over to my Patreon where I'll have a write-up on further use cases, let's say. The link will be in the description for you guys to check out. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Help me out with that YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel. Hit me up in the comments section below. Find me on Patreon. Find me on Discord. And thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you out there in the next video.